Hi everyone, Crafty Lori here today and this video is sponsored by Airy Craft Shop. She has some great digital line art that she draws herself in her Etsy shop. So I will have a link of that down below. For today's video, I am going to show you how I made a planner charm and I will have a link down below to this shrink film and it's in my Amazon store and it is the double sanded shrink film so that means that I can color on it with colored pencils and there's the shrink film it says matte right there but they've changed the name to sanded so if you're looking for it it's in my Amazon store link is down below and it's the sanded shrink film and uh, I ran this uh, through my printer to put the image on it. I just picked the image I wanted and this is the fairy image from the Airy Craft Shop on Etsy. And I'm going to color this with Prisma colored pencils. But before I start coloring it with um, the colored pencils, I want to make this image uh, short, shorter because it's really long, but I don't want it that long. So I'm going to take a Sharpie and I'm just going to draw a line at the base of the tree tr trunk where I want it to stop. And then that way I know uh, where to stop coloring because I don't want to color the whole image if I'm not going to use the whole image. When I printed this image, I used my brother laser printer to print the image right onto the shrink film. And I, w I have a link to the brother um, laser printer in my Amazon store also. So I'm just going to grab a Sharpie and I'm just going to freehand uh, draw a line at the base of the tree trunk where I know I want it to stop. And I'm just using a fine line Sharpie and I'll just take it and I just uh, draw where I, I think I should stop. Because uh, like I said, I don't want this image that long. I want it a little bit shorter. And also when you uh, shrink the shrink film, it can get kind of pointy. So it'd be hard with that foliage on the side of the tree trunk and get too pointy and sharp. So that is where I am going to stop coloring. I don't have to color all of it uh, because I don't need all of it. And there's my Prisma colored pencils and it's the 150 set and there's also a link to that in my Amazon store. And I'm just going to start coloring but with Prisma colored pencils they have uh, their pigment is really intense so I, I'm making sure that I use lighter colors and I'm going to layer quite a bit because when I shrink this in the oven the colors are going to intensify because it gets all shrunk down so I don't want to color it super dark to begin with and also where there's some little spots that I don't want to use the colored pencil like uh, her her armband, uh, her bracelet armband, and her eyes, I'm going to use um, alcohol markers because I just need to, to dot that on. I don't have to, you know, scribble color on it. So I'm just using my alcohol markers in those areas to dot the color on and also for her lips.
and there she is all colored up and I did do some layering and some shadowing and when that shrinks the colors are going to intensify even more so now I want to cut this out so I'm going to use a sharp scissors and I like my little Fiskars and those are also in my Amazon store and I'm going to cut that out and I'm just uh, I don't leave too much of a clear edge I, I try to get as close to the black line as possible and as you can see when I get to her head right here I'm gonna make like a, a little bobble and I need that because I'm going to punch a hole and if I didn't have that I would have to punch a hole right in the middle of her face <laughs> so that wouldn't be good so I'm just uh, free handing like a, a little bobble on top of her head that I'll, I will use a punch uh, to punch out the hole And there she is all cut out with that little bobble on top of her head and then I'm going to take a standard hole punch to punch out a hole but first I'm going to use my sharpie and I'm going to make a tiny little dot that's because I want to make sure when I punch out the hole that I, I don't get too far to the top of that little bobble so that's just a little guide mark for me and then I just take my paper punch and I punch out the hole and because this is a, a, a plastic it takes a little bit of effort to punch out that hole so I, I got to kind of uh, grip it a couple of times before <laughs> it'll finally punch through but it, it does work and there we go I got it but there's the hole and now it's time to bake it so I have this is called a baking board it's basically thick cardboard and I've dusted it with a little bit of cornstarch so my my shrink film doesn't stick and there's my oven and it's 300 degrees and uh, you can see through my dirty oven door <laughs> how it, it's uh, shrinking and it curls up and it shrinks and don't worry about the curling it's supposed to do that and then you know it's finished when it lays completely flat then it's, then it's done shrinking and once it's done shrinking I take it out of the oven I do use an oven mitt because it's hot and that's just a jar and I'm rolling it on top so in case there's any curled edges they'll flatten and you have to do this when it's warm and there she is uh, she she shrunk up real nice and it's real super flat no curling so uh, now it's time to make the charm and then I have an eye pin here and I'm just adding some uh, beads and then I will add a clasp and a couple of uh, jump rings and then uh, once I get that all together I take my jewelry uh, pliers and I curl the top over and once I get finished with that I decide I like it that way so I want to add some fibers to it but first I'm going to add a lobster claw to the top because that's what I'll use to clip onto my planner and I also use a jump ring on the lobster claw and then I'm going to add some fiber so I have some jute twine there and then I'm going to use some lace and then I'm going to use some eyelash trim and I'm going to tie it up at the top and I just tie a couple of knots until I, I think it's secure enough and then uh, I'm, there's the eyelash trim and I use a little crochet hook to get it through the jump ring because I'm going through the big middle of the jump ring and I tie that on there and then I'll trim it up to as short as I want it because I don't want them too long and then at the bottom I add the fairy with a jump ring to the bottom and I just use some jewelry players to do that and then I'm going to add some um, eyelash trim and some lace to the jump ring at the top of the fairy and then I just tie that in a couple of knots and then I trim it up and uh, it's basically finished there and then oh I decided to add a piece of lace too so I'm gonna add that piece of lace and again I use my crochet hook to get that through the jump ring and then I tie it and then I trim it up and uh, look how cute that is it turned out super cute and then with that lobster claw I can you know hang it on my uh, planner and I decided I want the lace a little bit shorter so that's why I'm trimming it up but it's better to have it too long than too short in the beginning okay and then uh, I'll show it to you here in a minute and there it is all finished up and look how cute that is 
And I love those beads. It's just a variety of beads. I have more beads than anyone should be allowed to have. <laughs> but and again this fairy digi is from airy craft shop and i will have that link down below please hit that subscribe button thanks for watching bye